If you ever wanted to see the final configuration which TypeScript uses to compile your code, you maybe already have used the TSC show config command. But the problem with this is that this command only shows you a really restrictive view on this final configuration. So it doesn't show you default values and also not all computed ones. So let me show you a different approach by using the tsconfig inspect CLI so that you don't see just some properties, but all of them. So let's figure out how we can determine how the final generated TypeScript configuration looks like. Now we have this tsconfig file here and this is basically empty. The only thing it has is an extends property here and we reference this base JSON. So we check this base JSON here and we can see that we have a module property in there which has the value node next. Now of course TypeScript doesn't just use the properties provided in here. It also computes some values because of the properties we provide and also adds some default values. Now, sometimes we need to know what these computed values look like to determine if we want to change them. So how can we do this in normal TypeScript? We can say here, we say TSC and show config like this. When we run this, we can see we get like a generated tsconfig file in our command line. So we can see here we have this compiler options and we have the module as already specified in this tsconfig base, but we also see that we have a target, a module resolution and so on. Because these properties are computed by using the module here. They are dependent on what we provide for our module and if we don't specify anything, then TypeScript will figure out the most useful properties and will set them itself. So when I first saw that, I was really satisfied and I was thinking that, well, this is exactly what I need to see what TypeScript uses to compile my code, what kind of properties and what kind of configuration. But I saw an issue when I visited the tsconfig reference page, because what I saw there was first, there are many default values which are set when we don't specify them and they are not shown in this show config call. And the second one is that also some computed properties were not shown because like resolve package JSON imports and exports are not visible here, but they are changed by the module resolution. So in the TS config reference, we can see that if the module resolution is set to node next, then the imports and exports are set to true. Now we don't see this in this compiler options in here. So this was like the first case when I saw, okay, it does not show all the changed values. And the second one is that I really want to see default values sometimes because sometimes I want to see what happens when I don't specify a property basically. And this is also not possible in this show config call. And this is why I created my own CLI, the tsconfig inspect. So how can you use it? Well, you can just call npm install tsconfig inspect with the global flag and we run this. And now what we can do is we can just say tsconfig inspect and let's run this and we can see we also get an output like a tsconfig file but it contains some more values now when we check this we can see that it contains similar values we have also the target here module resolution so these are the same like the target is here es next in show config it's also es next and so on but we have some coloring and we have many more properties so the green coloring means it's a default value, which is not changed by the thing we pass in. So we can see here the incremental is not dependent on anything we pass in. It's like the default value. The blue ones, on the other hand, are the ones which are computed because of our input. So for example, of our module in this case. So when we scroll down here, we can see that, for example, we have this strict null checks here, which are all false. So let's change this. We can now say strict true. And when we now recompile this, we can see now we get some more blue properties here because strict null checks, strict function types and so on, and no implicit any are all set to true because of this. Now we can see that this changed because we updated our strict property. Now, of course, when we change this back, we get back the default ones again. And I really like this because I can see what kind of properties exist and what are the default values when we don't change anything. Now, of course, sometimes you don't want these default values and I completely understand this. So I have created some properties you can pass to this command. So we say TS config inspect with the help flag. And we can see we have some flags we can use. The first one is the path. We can of course change the tsconfig we want to check. The path to this tsconfig file can be anything. We can set the defaults to true or false. So by default, we show the defaults. If we set this to false, we no longer show the default values. We can also say we don't want to show the files. So why is this helpful? We can see here we only have one index.ts file, but when you have a huge project 
this could have so many files in there that your whole screen will be cluttered by this. So maybe you don't want the files to be shown in this case. So you can disable it. And if you in any case don't like the coloring, you of course can disable it. But in our case, we say TS config inspect and we say defaults false. And we can run this and we can see we have basically the same output, but we can clearly see what kind of properties we provided ourselves and which ones were generated. And also what we could do is we could say show files false and hide the files we don't want to see. So I really like to use this CLI because it helps me to have multiple cases covered when I want to see the defaults, when I don't want to, and I can also really easily determine what kind of properties are default ones and which ones are computed. Now, of course, I'm still in the early stages of developing the CLI tool, but let me know if any feature is missing, which you would really like, and let me know them in the comments, and I will do my best to add them to this tsconfig inspect CLI. So thank you for watching the video. I hope you learned something useful today. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date about more TypeScript stuff. And as already mentioned, if you find any bugs or have any feature that you'd like to have added to the CLI, also let me know in the comments. See you soon in the next video. Bye.